Before this video begins, spoiler warnings for Kirby and the Forgotten Land and Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Kirby merchandise foreshadows major plot points in, Cur in future Kirby games. I don't know when this set came out, but it was definitely before Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And this features a Waddle Dee running on a wheel to power a tea machine. Now, Waddle Dees running on, a wheel on wheels have been seen before. They didn't seem to be held against their will in that game. This one, I don't know the context to it. There is a manga associated with the Kirby Dreaming Gear sets, but I believe that the toys were actually made first and the manga later. In Forgotten Land, this became a major plot point. This was also from the Kirby Dreaming Gear, which features Maglar holding a potion of who knows what. It actually has extremely specific, like, other things related to this potion. Other things in the set seem to imply that these crystals make the potions, which make the gears turn. So this potion is something of importance. Magalore was never actually associated with having potions, unless you count Kirby Clash games where he sells a few flasks, but those aren't specifically tied to him, up until Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, where he uses a somewhat similar potion. It's not exact for the helper Magalore enough to give Kirby some unexplainable strength. And most importantly, in the Kirby Pop Star Cinema set, Magalore, yet again, comes with some apple slices, which, while Magalore has always been associated with apples ever since Team Kirby Clash, specifically these apple slices seem to have foreshadowed the fruit fragments in Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe in Magalore's epilogue, which we still don't really know what the deal with them is, but it seems to be something tied to Magalore, according to this. So the main takeaway of this video is that Kirby merch, and some of these have mangas associated with them, so it could have originated from those first. So basically just other forms of Kirby media seem to be foreshadowing major plot events in extremely obscure ways, like single items that come with the figures. So start overly examining Kirby merchandise for these little details, and you might be able to predict the plot of the next Kirby game.